Hello everybody and welcome to Film Sandwich. I'm Kid Ron Burgundy and on today's episode we're going to show you five ways on how to use the Oculus Quest 2 for filmmaking or video production. Now aside from looking totally awesome wearing a VR headset, there's a lot of applications for productivity and so many different ways you can use an Oculus Quest 2 other than just playing video games. I'm gonna go from probably the least exciting to the most exciting things. So number five is meeting in VR. Now this is kind of like Zoom 5.0, okay? Um, so instead of having like a 2D screen that you're looking at people on Zoom, you're in a three-dimensional world with an avatar that you've created and you can meet, say, you have uh, some clients or people that need to chime in on something on a project and they're all in different states or different countries and not everybody can meet in person. So what's the next best thing? Meet in VR. So what you do is you create a little avatar and you will have to uh, pay some fees for some of the more advanced features. Um, but what's cool is that you can do like a you know, 3D whiteboard, you can uh, share files and play files. Say if you have some video files or you have some PDFs, you can share that around to everybody. You can show them in presentations. It is really cool and it gives you more of the feeling that you're there with the people instead of just Zoom calling. Uh, which can get, you know, we've all done the Zoom thing and we're, we're tired of it. Number four, this is really cool. Let's say you're on the road or maybe you don't have a good place to view your dailies or, you know, somebody sent you some content that you want to view and you want to be able to like, you know, be totally immersed into uh, what you're watching. So this is a really cool, cool program called Big Screen. Now in big screen, you can load up your own video files. Um, if somebody sent you something on Dropbox, you can load it right into your Oculus and you can play that on a big screen. And what's really cool is you get like this little room that has like, you know, it has different environments that you can be in that will totally have you secluded into your own giant uh, big screen theater. Now that's pretty awesome that you'll be able to watch things in privacy, you could be on a plane, you could be on the subway, you could be in a hotel room, but with all the things that you would need. And I recommend having headphones for that one so you can be totally immersed in the situation. Number three, speaking of immersed, there is a program called Immersed. It's kind of like um, virtual desktop uh, that you pay $20 for. This one was a paid for program, I believe as well. Uh, but what's cool about it is that you can actually map in your keyboard that you're using. So when you're in VR, you can actually press the buttons on your real keyboard and have it like react exactly to the correct buttons uh, in VR. And you can also track in your hands too, so you can just use your fingers to press the buttons. It is amazing. Um, so what's really cool about this is that not only can you uh, track in your physical keyboard, but you can also uh, create many different screens. And basically it's everything that's on your desktop screen. So let's say you have a computer, but it, it's got a small screen like a laptop or something, but you wanna see everything bigger so you can edit a little easier. What's cool about this is that yeah, you can have that screen, you can resize it to whatever size you want. You can have it be curved or flat. You can add in uh, th like three or four other screens. So if you look behind me here, I have three screens now, which I use all the time in my, my regular uh, world uh, editing. But in VR, if you didn't have those, you could totally edit with three screens right there in VR with Immersed. That is one cool program. Number two. All right, guys, so this one I just discovered by accident. Somebody hired me to go uh, film some stuff with my drone of the courthouse. And I was like, well, I, I wanna drive down there, but I don't wanna waste all this time driving down there. So I decided to uh, put my Oculus Quest uh, 2 on, and you will need, you will need to have uh, it attached with a USB 3.0 wire. I have a super long one right here. You're gonna have to attach that to your desktop computer. 
or laptop. And then you're gonna to have to use the Oculus Link in order to access Google Earth. Now, Google Earth is like amazing in VR. I mean, it could, it could stand to update the rendering a little bit faster, but I, I imagine as internet speeds get better over the years, that'll only get better. But it's cool, you can fly around Earth, 3D buildings and landscapes and all of that. But you know, hey, maybe you have a location that you need to scout. It's in another city or another state. And you know, nothing's better than being there in person, but maybe you wanna kinda pre-scout where you can kinda get an idea of how things are laid out in that area. So what happened to me is I went and I did uh, Google Earth. I went to the, the courthouse here in Sarasota and I was able to see like, you know, what buildings were in the way. Um, what's even cool is that you can position the sun to be in a certain spot. So you can see, oh, maybe what time of day, maybe middle of the day, what does the sun look like on the building? That is pretty awesome. So I highly recommend Google Earth for your pre-location scouting. And number one. This is a really cool one. All right, if you've ever heard of Unreal Engine, it is a 3D uh, animation, movie making, video game making software that you can totally get for free. It is a free download of the latest version five. And if you connect your Oculus Quest 2 to your computer, you have to do a little bit of activating some plugins and checking some boxes and stuff. But once you're done with that, you can totally view uh, worlds that you've created in Unreal Engine on your Oculus Quest 2. And you can even move around there and do some editing. It's pretty amazing. You get this little toolbar that can pop up and you can you know, choose to uh, fly around or do different things. There's ways that you can actually edit in VR with your Oculus Quest 2 with Unreal Engine. It is freaking amazing. Just look how cool I look. Editing VR content in VR, that, that, that's just crazy. It's amazing. And you can get Unreal Engine for free. It is a super powerful program and you can edit it right in your Oculus Quest 2. Now you will need to be connected with the Oculus Link cable and all that. And like I said, you're gonna have to uh, uh, adjust some settings within the program. But once you do that, it is pretty amazing. Version five isn't as stable as previous versions, but it's pretty close. So it's almost there and it has uh, a better interface and, and ways that you can uh, edit it a little bit better. That is five ways that you can use uh, Oculus Quest 2 or v any other VR headset for video production and filmmaking. I'm saying like, man, we're in the year 2021. It is amazing what you can do for filmmaking these days. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw here, please like, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we are uploading new content. And we'll see you in the next one.